Well, everyone else could make their assessment, but he's, he indicated what he believes in his heart about, uh, about Mexicans and about, about race uh, by the comments he made about Judge Curiel, and he may try and distance himself from that today, but, uh, but we know what he believes based on what he said. And, and by the way, he didn't just say it once. It wasn't a slip of the tongue which he went back and apologized for. First of all, he's repeated it time and time again. And secondly, he's never apologized for it. So uh, he, he, uh, he obviously sticks by what he believes. What would he have to do to win your support? Well, I, I don't uh, think there's anything I'm looking for from Mr. Trump to, uh, to, to give him my support. Uh, he's demonstrated who he is, and I've decided that a person of that nature should not be the one who, um, if you will, becomes the example for coming generations or the example of America to the world. Look, I, 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 don't, I don't want to see trickle-down racism. I don't want to see uh, a, a president of the United States saying things which change the character of the generations of Americans that are following. Presidents have an impact on the nature of our nation. And trickle-down trickle racism, trickle-down bigotry, a trickle-down misogyny, all these things are extraordinarily dangerous to the heart and character of America. And, and, and so I'm not, I'm not looking for Mr. Trump to change a policy that more aligns with my own. This is not a matter of just policy. It's more a matter of, of character and integrity. You think he's a racist? Oh, I think his comments time and again uh, appeal to the racist tendency uh, that exists in some people, and I think that's very dangerous.